Well, so far, all we've talked about are various treatments for uh, fill slopes primarily. So what can we do for our cut slopes? Those are going to be challenges too. We've got a lot of those. And a lot of times we're going to need to vegetate them. They're not going to be solid rock. So one of the techniques that we want to give you is called the step slope. And so by definition, this technique requires that the cut slopes are constructed from a series of small benches, typically between one and two feet in width. They're not drainage benches. They're just cut benches. You don't have to worry about outsloping them or drainage. Maintenance does not have to worry about going up there and maintaining them. They control erosion by just breaking up the slope length, reducing the volume and velocity of the storm water, and they also prom promote some vegetative uh, cover. They'll promote and capture loose soil, and then ideally that soil will grow on those benches. A lot of times the benches, it's anticipated that they will erode, but as they erode, the period it takes, the vegetation is becoming established. So it, its benefits are it reduces the stormwater volume and velocity. It improves the moisture holding capacity on those benches and in their, that area and um, improves the potential for establishing vegetation on cut slopes. There's not many ways you can establish vegetation on very steep cuts. It may increase the limitation, may increase the earthwork activities, the cost of it. it uh, the site has to be accessible. You have to start cutting it from the top usually. You start up there and you're doing a widening and you start stepping it as you're working down. It may not be practical for sandy or very rocky soils because the benches won't stay. They won't stand long enough. And it's for cut slopes only. You don't want to do this on fill slopes. It's for ex excavation. You use it on excavation slopes composed of rippable material between three to one and one and a half to one. Uh, for specific slope gradients, coordinate with the geotechnical design group. Uh, it provides visual com compatibility with other step slopes on the project site. It also complies with the requirements of the Highway Design Manual, Chapter 300, uh, 304.5 step slopes be specific. It complies with the guidance for slope roughening, terracing, rounding, stepping provided by Appendix A of the Caltrans Stormwater Quality Handbooks. And so to enhance the vegetation establishment, we want to use this with local topsoil, local duff, compost blanket, and also compost incorporate. We've incorporated compost with the soil before, and of course our hydro seeding techniques. As you can see on the, cut on the cut sheet here, if you look about midway up the slope, you can see, or back on these benches, do you see how the bench was actually filled with soil back in there? That was a treatment we tried on this particular slope. We took the middle of the slope and the middle of the benches, we actually, as we were building it, filled the bench hinge point up with local soil with 25% compost. And that turned and mycorrhizae, and that turned out really well. Why not fill those hinges in with plantable soil while you're working your way down? Was the lesson we learned. Okay, so here's our uh, specifications, our typical drawing for it. So we've got a typical drawing. Let's see how it looks. I want you to. Uh, take a note of this particular slope. This was a, a curve correction on buckhorn, decomposed granite. But look at how well those pine trees right there are growing. That happens to be the, the area that was treated with the compost soil fill versus the rest of it. So proof's in the pudding. This was the curve correction. Uh, there had been a couple of head-ons in here, so we cut back. They gave us a chance to do a study. There was a true drainage bench on it and stepped all the way up. One of the features that was done on this, on this project was there was a brow ditch dug at the top, a brow ditch. As, uh, uh, you know, looking back on something, hindsight being 2020, we have a... Uh, Hydrologic soil group type A, which has a lot of permeability, water flowing through the mountain, flowing through the mountain, along the surface of the mountain, it hits a brow ditch. The brow ditch has snow 
brow ditch gets filled up in the winter with snow, what do you, is that adding to stability? It's actually the brow ditch became a water basin that actually fed seepage locally. So I would sincerely consider whether you put a brow ditch on hydrologic soil groups A or B or not. Just beware, there could be a drawback from that. Uh, so here's the brow ditch. It was dug down. Of course, there's a little bit of a exaggeration here, but it was cut down on the water coming down through the mountain, collected in the brow ditch. It seeped through, and we lost the first couple of benches, which started a whole series of things. But otherwise, the project worked uh, really well. This was our, uh, our planting plan, or actually what we, we broke the slope in half, and we tried two kinds of irrigation techniques. We put a 500-gallon uh, water tank up here at the top, and the contractor filled it with water, and then we used gravity and battery-operated valves to irrigate that. And this half of the slope was watered with dry water. Uh, within the first year, the, they caught the contractor. He had stolen, the, went back up and stole the water tank. And, uh, and that got shut off. And after one year, they quit doing the dry water. So both sites came out equal. I don't see any difference in, in them. And uh, we try not to irrigate whenever we can anyway. This center area was wiped out when that little uh, slip happened. And... Uh, what this shows is this area right in here, this area and this area was filled in with the compost blend. Now, this area slipped out, but this is the part that still shows the compost blend. So here it is being built. There's the, since we already had access up there, it's very easy to take a little bit of compost and windrow it into those sections as you're working your way down. It was so constructible, it was silly. And uh, there you can see the center sections had the compost in it. And there's a growth without the section. Here's where the compost mix was, right there and right here. Very, very verdant growth. The, uh, did you seed it at all, or is it just? Oh yeah, we seeded it too. We seeded, hand seeded. The trees were planted uh, containers. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Trees were planted containers. Shrubs were planted. Dry water and hand seeded. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah. yeah. How'd you get that narrow bench? Uh, working your way down with an excavator. Actually, not with an excavator. It was done with a dozer. So you start here, you, you drop down, you make a vertical cut, you move over two feet, make a vertical cut, move over two feet. So in this particular, it didn't even have an excavator up there. It's very easy to do.